Good morning, good brothers and good sisters, and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Yeah. Lovely day outside here. <coughs> Please rise and shine. Father is going to yes. give us the best, the first uh, joke in the yeah. morning. A beautiful lady was praying in the church, and the devil comes to tempt her. The devil comes and says, "Woman, stop praying." If you do not stop praying, I am going to bring disaster to you. Oh. I will take away all your possessions. Wow. I will take away the life of your children. Uh -huh. I will even take your own life. So stop praying. The woman smiled at the devil and said, Don't worry, I am not afraid of you. I have married your son for the past 20 years and I am not afraid. I am still surviving. <laughs> Well, yeah. Father, today we come to another good big question is the basic foundation of our religion is reading the scriptures. Yeah. Why is it so important that we read the scriptures? Number one, yeah. what is the best way to finish the Bible? Okay. First. When you speak of the scriptures, there yeah. is so much. Why should we read the scriptures? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. they are the foundation of our life. Of course, of course, okay. of course. Of Faith is based on the scriptures Correct. and the strength of our faith is mm -hmm. measured by our knowledge of the scriptures. scriptures yeah. As uh, Saint Irenaeus says and great scripture, scripture scholars tell us, yeah. the ignorance of scripture is ignorance of, Christ, yeah. ignorance of Christ because Christ is the center of human history and entire history, world history. Correct. And Christ is the center of all life Amen. and we are called to know Christ more and more to become Christians. Yes. So, Bible is the source to know Christ more and more. more. Okay, yeah. So, reading the Bible is one of the most important exercise of our existence. Correct. So many people give up reading the Bible saying that I am too busy, I got that thing and this yeah. thing. Yeah. So why should we read the Bible? Mm. As Christians, so often we'll hear that we must read our Bible and stay connected mm. with the words and that is truth. Yes. Because as a Christian, we need to know the word of God for ourselves and also to use what we had learned from the word to apply to our lives. Yes. And also to use as a weapon Correct. against the enemy. Me, amen. amen. But for some reason, the Bible has become less and less important in the daily lives of the believers. believers yes. This seems especially true of believers, while many parts of the world are desperate to get their hands on the word of God. We were in the West and especially in certain parts of the world yeah. who have easy access to the word, neglect the daily mm -hmm. discipline of reading the Bible. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So why should we read the Bible? Mm -hmm. The Bible helps us, as I said, it's a weapon against the devil. Yes. Helps us to overcome the sin. Correct. So Psalm, 90, uh, Psalm 119 verse 11 says, mm -hmm. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin, sin again. Yeah. So that is what the psalmist says. Correct. Correct. So you have ever felt like the apostle Paul in the Romans mm -hmm. chapter 7 who cried out, why do I do the things I know not to do okay. and the things I know I should do, yes. I don't. So I do the very things which I you should not, not do. do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know I have, okay. And in these those times, it is easy to uh, what is the resort to prayer for an answer. Right. And the psalmist proclaims that the way to overcome sin is to get the word into the heart. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Another reason why should we read the Bible? Mm -hmm. It gives you direction and clarity for your future. Okay. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, yes, very Your word is a lamp for my feet, yes. a light on my path. Yes, yes. So, we seek answers for the problems of our life going to this uh, witch doctors, uh, palmists, astrologers. Uh, astrologers and it's the internet. No. Yeah. Yeah, internet. The right place to find answers for the problems is God Himself yeah, and who speaks to us in the Holy Scriptures. Correct, so correct, we, correct. Now we say, go to God. 
go to god means where go to the holy scriptures there we find answers for all every solution yeah yeah, yeah. it is a weapon against temptation sure, sure. we have yeah. the beautiful passage in the scriptures yeah. the temptation of jesus uh, matthew chapter 4 verses 3 to 4 says the tempter came him to, came to jesus and said if you are the son of god tell these stones to become bread bread and what did jesus answer to him it is written man shall not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of god so to fight against every temptation the word of god is our strength it will bring you freedom from hurts habits and hang ups so john chapter 8 verse 31 to 30 says yeah. so jesus was saying to those jews who had believed him yeah. if you continue in my word then you are truly disciples of my and you'll know the truth and the truth, the truth will, will make you free the truth will set you free amen amen so scripture sets us free, free. okay it oh. gives us the freedom yeah. yeah so it will also lead us to prosperity and success joshua chapter 1 verse 8 Another says famous one yeah this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it yeah. for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have success amen so the reading the word of god helps us to rely on him and that is what brings prosperity yeah. not because i read the word of god brings prosperity correct that leads me for prosperity okay correct it will lead you for salvation to show how to live the way of god, god. Amen. okay amen. that leads us for salvation where yes. in second timothy 3 16 says there is nothing like the written word of god for showing you the way of salvation correct. through faith in jesus christ so amen. every part of scripture is very very yes. important yes. so what does the scripture do now we are god's children the scripture helps us to know god the existence of god that he is the creator god so scripture okay. leads us to god oh, no. then scripture leads us to know the will of god what god wants from us okay yes. and scripture gives us his word Amen. to listen to him what he speaks okay. so that is very very important okay. of the scriptures now yeah. how shall we read the scriptures i say simply begin reading nothing is possible without starting from somewhere because we are too lazy we start then we say we are tempted we give up yeah yeah, yeah temptations are part of life yes but can we resist the temptation set apart a time Correct. today because of the modern gadgets and everything we are more attuned to the gadgets than to read the scripture but yeah. reading is very very important not on the internet but take the hard copy of the bible right yeah because that helps you to understand more better than reading on the internet yeah. though yeah. we are accustomed for the what is their gadgets mobile yeah. and all yeah. you know yeah. i say take the copy of the holy bible and read Amen. that is that makes more meaningful Maybe. and more sensible correct and i say every day read three chapters of the bible no so hope. at the end of the year you are covered at least 90% of the bible or even more three <coughs> chapters of bible every day read three chapters without failure mm. read three chapters not just reading and forgetting but reading and reflecting on that chewing on the word chewing on the word of, word of god like the animals do yes, chewing yes, the cut yes yes yes, okay, yes like chewing. that you have to do yeah. that so then only you cherish it and uh, there are many people who quote the bible wrongly of course they, they make the mountain of the mole for example jesus <laughs> said unless you are born again you will not enter the kingdom of heaven people made a religion out of it yeah 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 so yeah. that is not the entire bible Correct. there are so many quotation people take and there are so many denomination that are existing yeah they are just Misquoting. taking few words of the bible and forming a religion so reading the entire bible and understanding it helps us to live, live our faith and we can confront anyone the devil comes to different people yes so we can overcome the devil amen amen yeah. father this protestants now yeah they you know somehow the other they try to learn the bible fully and then that is how they attack us and yeah. we are we are like ignorant of what is that and yes. we feel wow when they know the bible they are very close yeah. to god and all that yeah. we have to be careful yeah. we have to read yeah yeah completely yeah. correct okay yeah okay, okay. let's say a prayer for god almighty father Thank you for your word Jesus Christ who came to us to reveal thy will for us. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the holy scriptures that we have that reveals 
yourself, your word for us and your will for us. Yes. Give us the grace to overcome all laziness or temptation yes. and to dedicate, discipline ourselves to read the Holy Scriptures every day without failure and to chew it, live it so that the word becomes flesh in us. We ask it in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Amen. loves you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Have a God wonderful day. You. God bless you.